Hi everyone, uh, it's uh, me again for another week Kids Talk. Not so much of a story today, but uh, I want to tell you the winner of the uh, picture uh, competition that we have, and then I'm going to set you a new challenge, okay? So this is something that maybe you can uh, get your mum and dad to help you with over the next week or so, just to keep you busy. Uh, since you're not doing all your schoolwork, okay? Um, so first of all, the, the winner of the uh, picture competition, we had uh, lots of really good uh, pictures, lots of really creative an animals all being uh, put together. But the winner is Joshua Nelson, okay? For his uh, half cow, half penguin. Um, and uh, I just loved it. Uh, I loved the colors. I loved how good it was. So. Joshua, uh, I'll be, get your dad to text me uh, and, we'll, and we'll, we'll have a bit of a conversation about uh, your prize because I can't get anything to you right now, but uh, something will happen to you really soon, okay? Now, I was thinking though about the story of Joshua, uh, not Joshua, sorry, uh, Joseph. I was thinking about the story of Joseph. Now, if you remember the story of Joseph, Joseph got uh, blamed for something that he didn't do and he got put into prison. And when he was in prison, he was telling the dreams of some of the other prisoners. And whenever the butler was going to get released and work for Pharaoh again, Joseph said this. It's in Genesis 40, verse 14. He says, when it's good with you, remember me. And that got me thinking, you know, there are lots of people around the world who are really busy trying to serve God as missionaries, as pastors, uh, and, and they're working in really difficult uh, in, in situations and, and they're finding it really hard. And I thought, you know, it's not easy for us being away from school, away from our friends and our families, but it's not the worst thing in the world. We've got really nice weather, we can play outside, we can watch loads of TV. It's it's not the worst thing that could happen to us. So I was thinking about all these other people though who are finding it really hard. And I've come up with a, a challenge for you. What I would love for you all to do is with the help of your mummy and daddy, I want to set you a project. Okay, I would love for you to uh, perhaps come up with a poster or maybe a scrapbook or a booklet of some sort uh, about missions okay now it could be a famous missionary from long ago like uh, George Muller or C.T. Studd, Amy Carmichael, Hudson Taylor, uh, Brother Andrew he's got a really good story and, and you could and you could do a poster about that you could tell me about where they came from where they went the people that they met the challenges that happened or you could pick an organization that's at work right now uh, maybe someone like Asia Link or CEF or Christians in Sport uh, or OMS, uh, the One Mission Society or Wycliffe Bible Translators. Or maybe you could find out about the Christmas shoebox appeals and tell us about the, the areas that they go to and what they work in and, and what they're needing right now. And then when you make the poster, what I would love for you to do is do what Joseph asked the butler to do. He says, when it's good with you, remember me. And what I would love for us to do is when you put together your scrapbook, when you put together your posters, when you put together your pictures with all your maps and diagrams and uh, all the different things that happen to these people or happen, the organizations are trying to do, then I want you to spend just a little bit of time every day while we're in lockdown saying, okay, I'm going to pray for these people. I'm going to pray for them. I'm going to say, Lord, I don't know these people, but you do. I would love for you just to help them today. Help them to make a real difference. Whether they are far away in Syria, or maybe they're in Uganda, or maybe they're in Croatia, or maybe they're in Mexico, maybe they're down south in the Republic of Ireland. Maybe you want to pray for the people who will be involved in Scripture Union. All the SISM teams got cancelled, and all the other things got cancelled, and camp got cancelled, and our uh, jam club got cancelled. and So maybe you could be doing something like that. So that's the challenge. I want you to come up with a, a poster, a scrapbook, do a wee bit of a research project on it. It can be as deep as you want it to be. I think the deeper the better because it gives you more things to talk about and to pray about. Uh, maybe you could get your mum and dad to help you with that. And uh, I think that'd be a really good way just to spend a wee bit of time and then you could spend that time then just a wee bit, a wee bit every day praying 
for some of the people that you've learned about. So Joshua, well done. You have won this. This project though that we're going to do now, it's not a competition. There's not going to be any prizes. There's not going to be any winner, but just uh, spend some wee bit of time doing that. If you want to send me a picture of it, I would love that. That's great. That's amazing. But uh, I would love for you just to spend a wee bit of time uh, just praying for some other people that maybe need it, who are maybe for being forgotten about because we're all so focused on this. All right. See you all later, guys. Miss you all. Bye.